Hello everyone and welcome to episode 2 Jean of will be Genshin upset Impact. If she catches us lazing around like this. Um so today we're playing on the iPad and basically I'm just trying a different uh, different setup. So we're going to carry on where we left off from yesterday, which is we're going to clear out a nearby camp and then we're going to go straight over to the city which is I believe over in that direction over there. Hmm. So let's go and clear this camp first of all. Um, I, I will be getting used to the controls on the iPad now. Um, I did, just so you know, find in the settings that you can add gyro aiming under controls. So I was complaining about that. It needed it yesterday um, on an iPhone and you definitely can do that. So um, definitely add the gyro controls, especially when you're aiming like this. Um, so if you have the gyro controls, you can kind of tilt your phone to do, make some fine tune adjustments and because these are kind of quite erratic even this is like tiny movements with my thumb and they're still quite jumpy so definitely add those on for the fine tune adjustments and that'll help you a lot so let's get going and let's clear out this camp okay so let's get a good vantage point over here first of all so I mean, with the fine tune adjustments, so now a headshot, perfect. So now these are gonna try and get me. To it. Though I've gotta say, you surprised me a little with your moves there. Thanks for the backup. How'd it feel? Now that you mention it, how is it the hilly trails ended up here? These creatures don't seem like the type to set up camp so close to cities like this. Exactly. It's more normal for them to be much further out in the wilderness. But because the dragon, Storm Terror, has been around a lot more recently, our orchards have been destroyed and the local market has been affected as well. When the storms hit, we usually end up with at least a few injuries, so the Knights of Favonius have been tied up doing the best they can to defend the area. So these annoying creatures have been getting closer and closer to the city? Exactly. That said, clearing this camp helps make the area a little bit safer. Come with me. A responsible knight must make sure to see you to the city safely. Okay, so we'll clear that out nice and easily. Um, let's just switch back to a main character. And then we'll get this chest. And make sure you collect all these things that come out of the chest. And then we can just yeah. open up these to see if there's anything in. We've got a nice cabbage for some cooking. So there is cooking in this game, just like Breath of the Wild and many other RPGs for like enhancements that can help you out in tough times. Okay, so now we've got to head to Monster. So we'll just take the path just here. I do think I need to kind of lower the sensitivity of the camera. So camera sensitivity. I'm just going to lower it down to 2. Okay, that feels a little bit better. So make the adjustments as you get started. There's kind of options there and obviously for a reason. You don't want to get caught because you can't adjust the camera the way you want to. Okay, and here we have the first cooking pot. So we just happen to be passing by. Let's what are you cooking? We'll speak to Lynn. Okay, about Pyro. Pyro attacks can cause beings to become affected by Pyro. When Pyro meets other elements, it often triggers an elemental reaction. Aim shots are great for making precision attacks on enemies' weak spots. Tip for most humanoids, aim for the head. When Pyro meets Dendro, it triggers burning which continuously deals pyro damage until it wears off. So Dendro is just, I think, just something that can burn. Um, so 
Let's speak to Lynn. What should I cook next? Oh, are you travelers from around here as well? No, we just happen to be passing by. I see. Welcome, travelers. I'm Lynn, the survival expert of the Adventurer's Guild. As you can see, I'm experimenting with some new recipes. I've got a feeling I need to put my earphones in just so the mic doesn't pick me up, so I'll do that now. Perfect. Eat before you go. The first rule in the Wilderness Survival Guide. Picnic? Oh, Paimon just loves picnics. My travel partner here is good at cooking as well. That's okay. Let's see what you can do. You won't get a lot of chances like this to learn from a survival expert. There are some mushrooms and meat in the barrel over there. Try making a chicken mushroom skewer for me. Okay, so let's go and open this barrel. And make what she says. Okay, she said mush chicken mushroom skewers. So let's just make one of these and cook. So it's just a little mini game. You've got to stop in the center there and we may as well cook two or three. Once you've done five and you get your proficiency up, you basically don't have to do this mini game anymore and you can just cook them by selecting the um, ingredients. So that's what the proficiency does. I'm not going to bother with five for now though. In fact, I don't have enough for five just yet. So we speak to Lynn again. Now that we've done it. Is it done? Let me try. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Uh, now that's really tasty. Paimon told you so. With your culinary skills, you should try more difficult dishes. Oh, I've got some raw ingredients in my bag. Can we really have them? So we get some Won't more materials. So make sure you talk about after you've done the cooking. That's okay. You should be able to find lots of ingredients when exploring the wilderness. Don't forget to look carefully. There's also a restaurant in Mondstadt known as Good Hunter that sells food and ingredients. Go have a look when you've got the time. Okay, thank you for the info. <gasps> hey, leave some chicken mushroom skewers for Paimon. So Paimon likes chicken mushroom skewers as well. So we got lots of um, rewards for that. So whenever you complete tasks like that, Never you get rewards. Never go adventuring on an empty stomach. You can check out your tasks just at the top here. So at the minute, um, we've got the Archon quests um, as the main quest, and we haven't got any other quests going on. So we're just going to head to Monster to continue the story, which is just here. So we'll go along. Just try and pick things up when you're kind of walking along. So we don't have much stamina at the minute, so we can't run for very long. And we'll just head straight there. Anything you see sparklies, just pick them up on the way. You never know when you might need them. I'm going to keep this one a little bit shorter than the last episode. Um, I might do some stuff off screen that's kind of boring, but I'll try and keep the story stuff up and I'll kind of let you know tips and tricks as I go along when I learn them. It looks really nice on the iPad by the way, we're playing on the iPad Pro. I was getting loads of work done. Let me officially introduce the city of wind, dandelions and freedom. Travelers under the protection of the Knights of Havonius, welcome to Mondstadt. Finally, no more having to camp outdoors. But the city folk don't look too cheery. Everyone's been put out of place by storm terror recently. But everything will turn out fine as long as Jean's with us. Jean? Acting Grand Master of the Knights of Havonius. Jean, with Jean on our side, surely even the vicious storm terror will be no match for us. Before I take you guys to the Knights of Havonius headquarters, I have a present for you, Traveler. It's a reward for helping me clear out that Hillitrol camp. H hey! Why doesn't Paimon get a reward? Uh, because this reward is useless to you, Paimon. But I'll treat you to a traditional Mondstadt delicacy. Sticky Honey Roast. Sticky Honey Roast! Come with me. We'll head to the city's, uh... 
high ground. So this is where we're gonna get our ability to glide, our glider. Um, obviously it's useless to fly on because she can already glide, or fly, as far as I can tell. So we've got carrot experience, tap to open the quest menu. Select that one. Navigate the quest. Tap to navigate the quest objective. So this just puts the navigation under your screen. Navigate to the quest objective and it's just telling you where to go. So you can see there. I mean, you don't have to go straight there if you don't want to. So what I do like about this game is you can kind of play it the way you want. So if you want to kind of explore the open world and unlock everywhere, then you can do that first and kind of then come out of the story or you can just This used to be a bustling story, street, but with so many storm terror attacks recently, the usual crowds are nowhere to be seen. Except for the local tavern near the city wall over there. They haven't been affected. If anything, their business is better than ever. Perfect. So, the present I want to give you is a wind glider. Outriders use them to ride the wind, and the people of Mondstadt love using them too. I brought you here to give it to you so you can explain. Oh, you're really excited about these wind gliders, huh? Well, that's because the wind is the heart and soul of Mondstadt. Uh, alrighty then, enough talk. Let's give it a whirl. It's easy to use, but you still need to pay attention to my instructions. <laughs> oh, what happened there? button to get down to the ground really quickly and do an attack okay so we've got a cutscene here so we'll end this gameplay here the sky. and then it's basically the next part we've got the first set of small like mini dungeons that you go through and we'll start kind of getting more characters as well so let's watch this and we'll do the little mini game afterwards which is really easy and then we'll call it a day on this episode yeah leave a comment below if you are enjoying this uh, let me know if you've got any tips or tricks um, and anything that you think I'm missing. Me, I'm playing on PS4 and iOS, so I'm a little bit ahead on the PS4. Um, I can't do the, um, the record yet on the PS4. So ideal console for this would be the Switch, I would say, but it's not out on the Switch yet, but it is coming. I 
bring the loads a little bit quicker on iPad as well. Are you hurt? You've actually got the power to go up against the dragon. Are you a new ally? Or a new storm? Terror is attacking Mondstadt itself! Kaya, Traveler, you've come at the right time! We must... Hold on, Amber. Are you perhaps forgetting to introduce us? Oh, right. This is Kaya, our cavalry captain. These two are travelers from afar. From afar? Uh, long story short... I see. Welcome to Mondstadt. Uh, though you haven't arrived at the best of times, I'm afraid. I understand the anguish of being separated from family. I'm not really sure why you're looking for the Animo God. Oh, but everyone has their secrets, right? <laughs> Relax. I won't press you for more. First and foremost, on behalf of the Knights of Favonius, I would like to extend our thanks to you for your help just now. Your fight to defend the city against the dragon just now was witnessed by no small number of citizens. The acting Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius is also very interested in meeting you, and formally invites you both to our headquarters. Dressing room unlocked. Collect unique wind gliders. I think we have time to read that. Okay. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. When hydro meets other elements, it often triggers elemental reactions. Wet environments and hydro attacks can cause beings to become affected by hydro. So it's just the same thing. Okay, so it wants us to open the character screen. We'll do this a little bit and then we're done. View character outfits. So we've got two. So we've got wings of first flight and then wings of companionship. I don't think, I don't know if they do much different. And then obviously we're gonna level up, we're already at level seven. Um, we're already at level three with the amber, let's level up amber. Mm. These two of those together up to level seven. Okay, everyone, so that's the end of the episode. Uh, make sure you follow and like, and we'll continue on in just a little bit. So I'll try and get them quite frequently uh, on the episodes. You can also follow along on my Twitch channel where I do some PS4 streaming, although I'm just kind of, I'm not doing every single stream on uh, PS4. I'm just doing here and there on the PS4 gameplay. But I'm, I am really enjoying this uh, game and um, it could do with some controller support for iPad and iOS, so hopefully that'll come soon. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you on the next one.